Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Farmer Contractor Series here on Greenland's Farm. In today's episode, we've got a new spread at least in there. There's a drill that we've got to check in on that we've just bought. And also, what the heck is that? So welcome back to Greenland's everybody and welcome to another contract here where we have incredibly bought another new bit of equipment there. We needed a second drill and a different drill to our combination drill which is doing great guns actually it's really going along but we have a lot of work coming in for drilling at the moment there and we wanted something we could be a little bit more uh varied varied with in terms of how we can approach some of these contracts so we've got this clay done this is a hybrid drill it's a tine drill really uh and it's drilling into uh a ground that we actually plowed over previously here it's not doing too bad a job at all on that 722 vario now we are really expanding the amount of work that we're doing with our drilling which has been great a lot of contracts coming in for that uh this drill means that we can also do a bit of uh, direct drilling into stubble where we need to uh which is good but the the make no mistake about it the six meter drill on the 936 is taking on a, a lion's share of the work but this is just going to allow us to uh really kind of take a little bit of that that extra workload off off that drill um we can get on into some different conditions with this as well which is always good and what we need to see uh, we're drilling oats here today the reason we brought this drill down was well just look at the stones uh farmer incredibly didn't want to uh get those picked up or any way they're gonna try and roll some of those in you're gonna struggle but uh that's what we're gonna do and yeah so we've got a, a extra little bit of capacity here which is great for us great for the business and uh, yeah i thought i'd show you that i uh, couldn't get that drill for quite as cheaply as we wanted to uh, with some of the difficult conditions we're having uh, in recent years, uh, tying drills such as that, it's becoming a little bit more expensive to pick up there. But needless to say, we were able to, uh, we, we, we got one for, uh, that was about 15 grand uh, all in. Uh, so we'll take it. We will take it. Now what we're going to do, uh, today we are going to be spreading a bit of lime. Uh, we've been doing some work on our home ground as well. Uh, we've still got that field of corn to cut. Which I think we are probably going to just get a, a header for and use the combine on, I think. Um, the logistics behind carting it into a pit was just going to be a little bit too challenging, especially when I got a pretty full book of contracts at the moment. So I uh, wouldn't be able to take that on. The uh, tractor and sprayer is out and about at the moment, doing great stuff. Really clicking through the uh, the workload that has, which is good. Uh, and today we're going to, we've leased the spreader in uh, and we're going to take that to work and see how we get on uh spread a bit of lime onto our some of our stubble fields before we plow that in so uh only needs one field really we're gonna put a bit onto the maize field as well when that's all said and done the uh we've done a bit of plowing at home anyway already and it's uh, it's looking pretty good but this is just gonna be that extra little kick really uh so we'll see how we how we get on there indeed uh otherwise everything else is looking good cattle are fine uh tractor and drill my tractor and drill at least has been in quite a few hours of late it's the it's just uh we're not in it today uh not yet at least we've got a few other contracts waiting to get the green light to go for uh farmer in question is just doing a bit of plowing ahead of us uh he's only got a small tractor and plow so he's trying to get a bit of work done before we come in and we can get that all taken care of but yeah otherwise i'm very happy with how we're uh how we're progressing uh but join us we're gonna go up to the farm there's a huge development of the farm as well that you're gonna see uh so we'll take you up there get parked up and we'll show you what that looks like one of the first things you're going to notice here as we stood in the yard is that is a brand new shed it came up quickly uh it is designed and engineered by lancy boy uh the same engineer who created all of these really uh and it is a british theme british style shed there which is going to be coming available to everyone very soon but we have it and it's a grain shed that we're going to be using for a bit of everything really we'll be there storing grain in it when the time comes but we've also stuck the combine in there and we'll probably at some point, we're going to stick the grain trailers into here. We've got space for a little bit of uh, everything else as well. But lovely shed. Little office on there as well, which is kind of cool to have. Uh, open sesame. So we can stick a few things into there where we need to. But the main thing is that we've got extra storage. We were running really quite low there. So that's uh, a great addition for us to have. Uh, it really allows us to not have to worry about anything else. Hasn't compromised too much of the space around here either. So we're looking good in that respect too which is fantastic now what we're going to do today we're going to we've leased in this bunning spreader here uh which is a, a lovely bit of kit and it's on our fence we've got some lime to spread so what we will do now is take the jcb up to where we had a, a couple of loads of lime brought in i'm not sure if it's going to be enough for everything that we want to do uh, but for right now it's a good start and then we 
we'll take this up park this up and then come down and get the fence as well here is the lovely 936 looking all clean ready to go on its next gig the amount of acres that we can cover with that thing uh is just incredible and uh, we're really smashing through some of the uh autumn drilling here which has been great a lot of the winter barley winter wheat's going in at the moment there which is always good to see uh our crops are coming through looking lovely as well uh, uh but we're going to come through here you'll see this field's already been mostly plowed over we've left this last headland strip up just so we can actually get through to the end and then uh, we should be looking good and one is look into the bit of a stone problem in here this is the first time we've plowed over these fields so expecting to have to come in and clear a lot of stones off the mall really at the moment but we will get around to that that's not a problem uh we'll get that one covered off uh but the what we want to do is put we're going to spread the lime into this field here and then once all of these uh once the corn's been cut or lifted or whatever we're going to do with it we're going to uh put a bit of lime down there and then get these two plowed over too uh and then we should be looking good Lime is expensive, at my word, nowhere near as expensive as uh, as nitrogen-based fertilizer at the moment. That's for sure. Uh, okay, let's just take that. We'll come back and collect you in a moment. A little bit of a weed problem here. Nothing too crazy that we can't handle in any way. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, seems to be picking up a little bit in places there. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how it goes. But uh, otherwise. It's all gonna get plowed in there anyway, so you know I can uh, I can live with that. That's for sure. But what we'll do, we'll go and grab our uh, fence, and we'll get on with it for this morning. Now it certainly means that we got a little less turn space in places on this yard. There, we tried not to lose too much of that space, and I think for the most part we'll be okay. Uh, still plenty of storage space though as well. It's always going to be important. This is a challenge when you've got a crop in the grassland field now. We can't really uh, drive over that to turn around. Just got to come through here. We could go through the road moving forward. Uh, there you go. We're through. So once we get this uh, this picked into here, uh, what we're likely going to do is stick some oats into this. And then the field with the maize in. We're going to put a cover crop in there. That will go into spring barley. Uh, and this field at the end here, I think we're going to put wheat down into again. So that's the plan around here at least we'll get this done and taken care of in the next few days uh but yeah it's nice to get some of our own work done here at home uh as well as doing all the contract work and having the machines to be able to do uh tackle both fronts really is always very satisfying indeed now one thing to note here before i go through that gate the wheels on this spreader are very wide so it does mean that you've got to pay particular attention when you're driving down the road because they are slightly wider than the tractor itself we're also coming through slightly narrower gateways as well, which I think we're through. Excellent stuff. So what we will do is this wait right about here. Uh, and then we'll get this all filled up and let's see how we get on. So as you can see, before we get stuck on into this, look at the height of this corn. It's absolutely incredible. But anyway, with that being said, we'll get ourselves going here, I think. Uh, everything's looking good. Let's just uh, jump in. This is our new grain bucket that we picked up at a local auction board back just the other day. Uh, we are not really using it for what the instructions would say on that big yellow sticker, but never mind. I'm not sure how much I can get in here without tipping the thing over either. So we shall try. Uh, but there you go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, our as far as our inputs go... It's not the, uh, it's certainly not the most expensive approach that we could take right now. And this will just get us to, to balance out the pH on the field. Good lord, this is a heavy bucket load. Need to a bit of that out. Uh, and it'll just mean that we can... There we go. Uh, it just mean that we can kind of control things. Get this channel, get this field reset. Uh, and make sure that we're into a good place from the offset there. That is the aim and that's the intention at the very least. We'll plow this in if we need to put any more nitrogen on we'll try and do that sparingly because of the cost we will be looking to uh, put some uh, maybe some beans into here at some point in the near future just to fixate that nitrogen uh maybe after this next crop we put in uh there you go just try not to put too much into here because it seems like it is a bit uh, a little bit front end heavy uh and we will get the spreader fill up and then yeah we're just gonna spend the morning on this and we should be uh looking in a much better state uh, like I say, uh, other contracts are looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, coming through nicely. 
we'll have to just kind of prioritize a few drilling contracts once i get the the green light from the customer because he like i say he was just trying to push ahead a little bit uh which i can understand and also some of the ground's a bit heavier clay so it'll just allow it to dry out a touch before we come in Ooh, that's a heavy one get down there that's not gonna work out for us um a bit of that out there there you go didn't think this would bucket would be quite so heavy when it's full but there you go um we are going to be using this a lot more for grain when the opportunity comes around now that we have that grain shed in place uh so that'll be interesting just to see how we are uh oh that pans out really see how much we can actually hold in there obviously we this next harvest season we're gonna have a lot more grain to uh to store than we do now we've got our grain dryer and silo in in place as well which is good but uh never hurts to have a few other options but how's everything else going with everyone out there hope you're doing very well do let us know what's uh what's happening and where you are and what you're working on as always uh thank you very much to everyone who has been actively watching and, and commenting along the way with this glad to see you're all enjoying it so much uh, all right you know what? we'll probably just go with that see how we get on first time around okay yeah, not the biggest field here to get going with, first of all. Uh, but we'll start along that hedgerow, I think, to see what that looks like. Okay, up that goes. And away. It's not often I get to drive one of these 722s now. Always in the, uh, the bigger machine there. I have been toying around with the idea of what it looks like to get yet another uh, another tractor uh you know the the workload does seem to be coming in sufficiently uh we need another driver in the tractor there's something that i am toying with need to figure out the finances of it and see and what those projections would look like but yeah it's uh it's an option it's an option that we must uh, must consider Just allow us to i think it would mainly be probably stuck onto a spreader for the most of the winter actually and then a, there's a lot of cultivation work that we're we're really uh trying to get caught up with at the moment there so th there's a definitely a potential there for us to bring in some extra help uh, but we'll have to see uh we are we're doing what we can though at the moment that's for sure and business is looking very good very stable which is the main thing Whenever you do grow substantially like we are there, you want to make sure that you're able to to keep that uh, that growth. All right, that's uh, spreading out there nicely by the looks of things. And I think we're going to have a bit left over here for that other field as well, judging on how we're uh, pushing through here. take a, a bit of a pass on that and maybe what we may have to do is see if we have to double put a little bit extra down onto here we can always put a bit onto the, the field over there as well given that that's gonna have to be worked over a few times to get rid of some of those stones so we can get it worked in there before we drill it that shouldn't be too much of a problem all right there you go Yeah, it looks like we might be on the lookout for a maze header of some description. Something that we can... That's uh, either on the header trailer or that we can fold up in front of the combine there. We don't need it for well, probably a half a day, really. Uh, looked into what the adjustments I need to make for the combine to be able to handle the maze. Really not going to take too much to get that, that changed. Uh, and I think that would be a good way to go just to get that field cleared, to be honest. It's something that I can do on my own on the day there and, and have the uh, tractor and trailer on standby. Whereas if we were to find a forager somewhere, we're going to have to have everybody here. And at the moment, I just don't have that the, the time, really, and the, the, the bandwidth to support that. So uh, I think that would be the next best option. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to just uh, keep thinking about that and see how it all looks. Okay, and we'll just scoot around here. 
this this one load's going uh, further than I thought it would do. There is a bit of a problem with docks on this farm. We do need to get those sprayed off. We need to be quite careful with how you spray those off, though, and the, the right timing. Uh, it's all about the how the what the weather's like when you put that down. So we'll have to be uh, careful with that. We're plowing over a lot of these of these fields anyway, which can help to control that a little bit. But ideally, you want to spray them off first. All right, looks like that's pretty much going to be us done here. I reckon one more pass should just about do it. <laughs> well, all right, then that did not take too much time at all. Uh, mostly done. We'll keep all of this uh, and then we hopefully get this field clear in the next couple of days or so. Uh, and then we've got a lot more to work on. Too. Like I said, this one is going to go into second wheat. That is going to go into spring barley and down there we're going to put some more oats in. A lot of work to do on that field yet with a little bit of clearance of our stones. We're probably also going to just put a bit of lime onto there as well and places there. It's a, when we did our soil testing, it wasn't quite as good as one would have hoped. So we've always got that to look into. But yeah, that's going to be our day today, really. Big few changes around on the shed there. The guys are out working there. Another new drill in place as well. Uh, so we're really pushing on here in these busy times at Greenland's Farm. I hope you have enjoyed today. If you haven't yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more from Simulation for the Nation. And we shall see you all in the next one. Till then, do stay safe. Enjoy your doing as always. We'll catch you later.